Spruce and spring Rowena light gray leather dining chairs, solid wood frames, faux leather cushions. Had a really difficult time trying to assemble these. They sat around after I wrote a low review for a couple of months and the lady said, get them out of the house. Gave a shout out to Trudy and Joe, put some other eyes on there. We found the secret of how to assemble these really quickly. I'm gonna show you both the troubles I had and how you can actually get this assembled. There are five short bolts, four long bolts, Allen wrench, and there are nine of these washers, plain washers, and nine of these lock washers. Allen key, they call it. The instructions show the parts and it says to unzip the bottom and there's a bag of other parts. That's clever. And then to put this bottom on, you're going to put one, two, three, four, of the H2 bolts and the H2 bolts are the long bolts so you're going to unzip the bottom put four bolts two on each side and then an H1 bolt in the middle with each bolt there's a lock washer and a regular washer so it's going to go through this chair and screw into the wood frame itself and then on the legs there's a little insert in the fabric you're going to put two bolts in here. They're both H1 bolts with the lock washer and washer. And turn the symbol chair over, place it in the flat side, push legs up or down as necessary to level. Once it's level, tighten it all. I'm getting these bolts started before assembly because I couldn't get them inserted and I realized I was trying to go in straight the little screw adapter the bolt inside of here is at an angle. That one went in. All right, I have them started, so I'm gonna pull them out. They're gonna come in from this side. You see, two elongated holes. There's two long bolts here, a short bolt here, and two long bolts here. So they're gonna come in through like this. They come out the inside here, and then they're gonna go into these holes. See if I can get them aligned. So when I take this short bolt, push it down in here to get it started, that's where it is. I'm going to mark that. So, see that mark? I need that much of the bolt coming out in the bottom of this chair to get it started. You measure one of these long ones too. Put a mark on here. So I need that much coming out. I finally got one started. He's only come out maybe a half inch out of the bottom down here. And I just started turning the Allen wrench and wiggling it and it caught. And then I got a second one caught here. And I'm going to try the middle one. Well, I'm done. I couldn't get it working. Unusual for a kit. You can see where the screws are trying to come through on this side. It's hit the material instead of the hole. You know, I got them to go in on this side loosely, and then I got put a long bolt in the middle, got it to line up. But it's way too much work. I spent 45 minutes trying to put these bolts in, and I don't know. Just not precision. A little insert should the metal insert for the bolt, the little threaded metal insert should come right up to the top here. They're way down inside. Oh well. Material looks okay. It's faux leather. It's nice and soft and padded. Legs are okay. I didn't even try the front legs, but I can't spend two hours trying to figure this out. Machining is off some. Okay, fast forward over a month. I figured out how to get this thing assembled. First step is drill all the 
bolts in here to open up the holes. Second is, I'm going to use a variety of spacers on this one, and I'm going to attach it with the longer bolt first to make the bottom of the chair pull down really tightly. That way, it's the only way to get these things to bite, is to push down on the wood in the cushion, then pull the middle one out, and put the shorter bolt back in. On this middle hole, first using the longer bolt with some spacers, so that when you put it in, you can tighten it down, and then you'll be able to get all these other bolts in. All right, so I've got the, a screwdriver that's the width of the bolt, just to line it up. Here's the spacers on here. I'm going to tighten that down and you can watch the whole unit compress see it going down and the lining it's the only way you're going to get these bolts into the side is to do that you may now have to bang this forward or back got the first one in get another one lock washer on the top washer Didn't catch. I may have to adjust that a little bit. This one caught. Let's go down tighter with this one. So you see the whole chair rock back up to that side. other side hopefully with those three bolts in there this should line right up when it starts getting tight I'll back it out a little bit and go in again One final one. Oh, so now I have to take this one out. So this is the longer one we put in, so I'm gonna take that out. And place it with the shorter one. Because the shorter one wouldn't fit either on its own. See it pulling it back up again. Final one. So I'm going to get a hand balance wrench. There we go. Try to get that one to work. Yeah, so that bit we have isn't long enough to go to the bottom of the hex head, so this Allen wrench here is all right. So on the leg, put the uh, curved part in so these legs will flare out a little bit. If you do it that way, in this direction, the legs are going to flare in. But there's more balance going outward, and then, then there should be a cut here. It's not cut, so. I may have to get, I do have scissors. I do that. Supposed to be. Set, there's a piece of wood here. Oh, there it goes, got it. All right. It's not the most precisely milled piece of furniture, but once you figure out the trick, then it works. I 
to get in here. And how it goes right there. Those holes have to be facing the bolts perpendicular. Better. Bolt, lock washer, and washer. So then we just zip that up. Good to go.